man what was that crazy conversation that 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 occurred with you and your potential landlord or even after like you got the apartment what, 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 what were those conversations that you know you had with him or he had with you as by you're a single woman because that's especially one of the reasons why the stigma is attached ladies and renting apartments in lagos i do not do this alone i have fiona and today i have jimoke in the studio as well hey ladies how are you doing i'm good how are you doing great how was yours weekend <clears throat> my weekend my weekend was good right why was all right huh yes, event viewed mm. yeah it was good great awesome fiona it was real what good happened? okay it all right good, actually okay i mean let's get to the conversation already um i got first because thinking about this reading stuff from online um i could just relate especially with my first house when i moved to lagos i did not i did not understand it until i read people's you know experiences and you know i i learned that it was actually a thing that landlords mm-hmm. actually do this you know i was <sighs> the guy the guy was cool i mean obviously i'm not looking for something big i got the apartment it was almost like impromptu like i had to get it like asap and i got it nice place everything nice but then the landlord was he was something else wanted to know where where i walked wanted normal wanted to know you know religion tribe wanted to know if i was married and that's the part that pissed me off wanted to know if i would be bringing someone over especially a guy and then i stopped him at some point i'm like wait all these questions are necessary because i want to rent an apartment i mean if i want to bring someone over that should be none of your concern like hello i'm allowed to bring i'm renting i'm paying you for this it's not like you're giving me for free so what's your concern with whether or not i'm going to bring someone over that's that's my call but then again, I let him know that yes, um, from time to time, I would have somebody, I would have somebody, you know, come see me. Friends will come around and whatnot. Then again, I remember um, months into living there, um, we had a conversation where he was like, "You didn't tell me someone was going to come and be sleeping with you or sleeping in your house. This is not a, I, I did not rent this out for two people. I rented it out for one person." And I'm like, "Hold your horses, landlord. I don't get it. If my friend comes to visit me and decides to sleep over, how is that a problem? What is it taking from you? Are we using too much water or the electricity is, you know, I, like why? Why is that a problem?" Is she, listen a lot of crazy stuff with landlord especially stuff with landlord especially when it comes to single ladies they have that stigma and as i mentioned we want to talk about that um fiona and jimoke i don't know if you've had or heard similar experiences let's talk about it this this is it's, it's mad because bbc don't carry this thing mm-hmm. bbc world news don't carry this thing <clears throat> especially lagos women Really? Convers- yeah they've carried it in 2018 and there was a recent one was it 2021 or even this year self because well I'll, I'll get to that but yeah let's 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 talk about you your friends anybody you know experienced that the whole landlord thing and single lady trying to rent an apartment okay so mm. i haven't had a first-hand experience myself mm. but definitely i've heard lots of people's stories i've had friends who have experienced it and to be honest i find it to be very ridiculous because mm. when you give an out an apartment it's been paid for it's yeah. like it's like buying a shoe from me mm. and i and i'm giving you restrictions as to how you should wear your or shoes where you should wear it or where you should wear it or if you decide to borrow it out or whatnot it's none of your business if you've rented the place like just chill so my parents have tenants and mm. We don't we don't look into what the tenants are like. It's not your business. Like it's not your business, and that's what it is. They've rented the place. They've rented the place. Like that's <laughs> sorry. Your parents are good landlords. Trust me. I wouldn't want to even live with a landlord. I think they're very invasive. Like they invade. They want to know everything about you. I don't know if it's a gender thing. Sorry, I cut you off. Your mic. I don't know if it's a gender thing, mm. but I feel like generally landlords, like when you're living with them, they are quite. They want to know everything about mm. you. And the one you said about them complaining that maybe somebody is sleeping over at your house mm-hmm. i don't know if that one too is a gender thing because i think they do that generally like especially when you're young 
like when they like they give yeah. their houses to mm. like young mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. young genders generally they they want to make sure that you're not bringing in too many people so i don't know if that's a gender it thing. shouldn't re- I just, re- regardless I a lot of the time they tend to do it more to females mm-hmm. like when you want to rent a place it's mm. more difficult the the policies and all the rules exactly it's more stringent mm. you know well, they want true. to know that there's a lot of the time, they don't even accept to give you an apartment that's, unless that's where we're a going. Yes. who stands in for you. Yes. Your brother, your father or something. You can't just say, oh, as a woman, I'm going to rent an apartment. There are some landlords who would not agree to give you the place. Okay, and I've, that is I've, ridiculous. Yeah, I've heard of that. but I've, It happens well, all the time. I don't know about mm-hmm. anybody close to me that has experienced that before. Yeah. But I've heard. And some reasons that they give, mm-hmm. I also find it very ridiculous. Like give when they say some. things like, you're not married, so, you know, I cannot give you my house. Or they're asking, what are you doing i don't know if that one is a gender thing. i think generally now they always want to ask what you're doing yeah of course that's that one day that's normal both yes. boys and girls you ask what you're doing well, because god forbid you you just you just you just anything happens yeah they this can job. reach rent as well. your mm-hmm. office should anything happen to you exactly. that's why they need that information and that's where it should end but mm. it's terrible if as a landlord you're not going to give a lady an apartment just that she's, she's going to pay for just because you know okay okay there's one i've heard mm. right where they say um Okay, the one I mentioned earlier where they say, okay, maybe she's bringing in different women. They don't want to give their houses out to women because they feel like they bring in different men. Mm. So my own is, is this still their business? Because when guys, sure. I feel like guys are guys like that. So the like they bring in women, exactly. whatever they want, however they want. Why is that not a problem? So I think it's still society at, at the end of the day. So. so I can even understand. It goes, it, it, it's worse, you know, because I've also heard I was even asked that myself. You know, they want to know your religion or mm-hmm. tribe. I'm like, how how is that important? It actually isn't. Like, what my my tribe, my religion. Most of the people, most of the landlords, I want to believe that do the, the, the that are hard on the ladies that have that stigma with the ladies not wanting to give them their apartment. I think they are the ones with just young kids i think i want to believe that Are you sure? ones because that you end up asking you out. no <laughs> not necessarily actually i don't think so because I, I don't think i, don't I think have so. seen or experienced or heard one where the landlord had kids it's usually a maybe young man or one with like little kids that are still in secondary yeah, school no. some of them are grown you like, just said really, your parents really grown have tenants no yeah and i mean they know that one day you're going to leave and want to rent yeah. I, I don't know i just feel like they just have to have those little kids around because Not you can call them to order yeah when you if, if they are like that kind of those those kind of people mm-hmm. but are we wait are we actually going to blame landlords because there are some parents that actually say that their daughter like their daughter should not go out to rent an apartment if, they, if they're not like married some parents will say yeah, until you get married as you a female you cannot leave my house, house. Mm-hmm. they of the opinion that it is decent mm. that as a lady you leave from your parents house to your husband's Husband house. house you know it gives you that you know my daughter is i don't know so that means that's what <laughs> so the landlords know, if, if believe parent, lots of men yeah, parents can feel too. that way so, so why would a landlord not you know have yeah. their own the honestly, society just has <laughs> very unnecessarily um and unnecessary expectations Ooh, from women yes, like it yes, really makes no try to control how does it make her any less um or how does it make her an indecent mm. person mm-hmm. yes. if she goes from her parents house to her own place before yeah. she eventually decides to get married it's crazy I, I actually try to understand that's, that that's statement not like why stick. like why why can't i go from so my that is why apartment? in the same vein you know we have these landlords looking at you know yeah, young females. women who come to yes. rent an apartment they they probably think you're indecent yes you're, like you're, you should not be that's, renting that's an apartment the major exactly reason you should not be you're getting apartment. married that's exactly why they asked the, the question are you are you married is your husband in town some of some yeah. of the some will not go straight are, are you moving in with your husband yeah uh, you're trying to understand why would you a young woman what are you looking for why are you looking for an apartment and it's bad it's terrible it's bad because it's like a, <laughs> it's a, actually a terrible. expected to to get mm-hmm. a certain uh setting points in her life yeah. it's only a man who's allowed to get old enough to move out of his parents I, place i, I yeah. have no the idea woman's not allowed why. to be successful rent an apartment it, or it's what? ridiculous it's, 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 it's just dating your husband's house nah, that's, that's <laughs> so, so okay my father's <laughs> house is in abuja i should leave i should and i get a job in lagos i, I think should that's the only move. time they try to understand that's, mm. that's yeah. crazy that's the only time they try to understand like once you don't have like a valid like strong valid Very, reason yeah. to want to leave your parents house 
No, they like, tell why you, do you I don't need have to have it. a man hanging over me. Like, so is it just that? In, because in, even in if that, you tell, sorry, sorry, yeah. even if you tell anybody, mm. mm-hmm. maybe the ones that are not so shallow minded, but if you tell anybody that ah, I want to go and rent an apartment as a female, they'll mm. say, Why? Some people will say, Lots Why? Lots of people ask like, that like, question, and it's, it's like, it's, Are you not comfortable you at your right parents' now? house? Yes. No, seriously, it's, and now we're blaming landlords when normal people say that don't have houses when you tell them i think i want to have i, I think i want to read my whole place they'll tell you why are you not comfortable are you not eating Is your, are your parents not feeding you like why do you need to why do you need to go out listen to get, so, i honestly you know, don't know if no actually the truth is i know that i would still be living under my father's roof if i was still in Kano mm-hmm. and working because i was i would work when i was in Kano. obviously i was working and living you know on that in his house yeah right and i know i would still be doing that till now just because i don't even know <laughs> I, I, I know <laughs> just because i don't i don't feel the need to yeah rent an apartment like i'm actually comfortable there like yeah. is it, i have a room easy food like you've mentioned i have you know i could go to the market to shop i could yeah. i don't know but and again, maybe it's because, you know, we've never really had that conversation with my parents where mm-hmm. they're like, where I, ha- I I decided I wanted to move out and there was that, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I would still be living there and it wouldn't be a problem for me. Did you at any point yeah. while you were in Kano mm. move out of your parents' place or it was from Kano to Lagos? Straight to it me. was like, I never lived on my own except for when I was in school and when I was okay. serving. Okay. I served in Katina. I schooled in Kano, yeah, but then I stayed on campus and I did not rent an apartment. It was the hostel. Right. I was oh, not, wow. I was, I yeah, I mean, like, what's the it. point? <laughs> rent an apartment <laughs> i did not see the need to do that yeah, so yeah. I, listen i had a beautiful experience oh, you know really? staying in the hostel it was really amazing oh, wow. i cannot see the same. <laughs> I, I was still thinking well, about you, you can't I don't know. are you serious i never did i mean i stayed outside <laughs> are you serious yes, why a terrible experience oh, like, oh no <laughs> like freedom at last why would i go back like i don't know but you're still um, with a bunch of girls yeah yeah i no, would say I, I li- like i stayed all through my life boarding school why would I right. I didn't, I didn't go to boarding again. school. I still yeah, go. No, no, no. But I, I, I wouldn't say it's from that perspective. Mm. From the perspective of you know freedom. Freedom. Yeah. Mine was, was freedom, please. <laughs> yours, yours, <laughs> yours was freedom. It was yours, freedom. You know, yours I was still was was just finally. comforts, like convenience. It right. just, it was just I went from you know a family where we're just four. I have just a younger brother. Mm. You know, not a lot of people, and then to to a hostel where there's so many people. Yeah. So many girls in the room. I've right. never experienced that before. Right. So I was sharing my space. Mm. It was not comfortable. Mm-hmm. You had to fetch water. You had to do lots of things that yeah. I had never done. Fetching water was the biggest problem for me, actually. <laughs> you, we do the outside school too, though. So no, but in my when I moved off campus. Okay. Because we do yeah, the outside school. Running, yeah, no, why so. would you fetch water outside school? Because there are times that Actually, maybe no, they don't yeah, bring lights now. Point. Like there's no light, so or maybe that. pumping machine gets. I don't think I rent an apartment no. where I have to suffer like that. Uh, exactly. This one I, thing I hate is fetching water. Oh my god! I, I, I actually just listen. <laughs> I think it's not that funny. I feel like the Adjek Paco. You know, you you will feel like. No, no, it's not No, 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 it's not that. Because I'm. Not necessarily. It's not that. I promise you, it's not that. Like people Not necessarily. I'm sure there are certain <laughs> things that you don't mind doing that I'm like, the, like vice versa. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's not about the water water thing. If you don't like it. But yeah. yeah. Anywho, ladies, call us up right now. Zero seven zero zero one zero five one one zero five one. Tell us what your experience has been so far in Lagos, and maybe even outside Lagos. You know, renting an apartment as a lady. What sort of conversations have you had with the landlord or what do you call them now, the agent guys? You know, that got you like. Did you seriously just ask me that? Like, <laughs> no way. You know, we I, in that article I told I told I told I talked about where you know that BBC carried. You mm-hmm. know, there was a conversation where the girl said she was um she was engaged or something like that, and then the landlord asked her to come with her fiance before she, before yeah, yeah. Wow. I can give her the uh, rent the apartment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, lots of people that have experienced I honestly, this. Uh, no. They told them to go and bring your brother or your father or someone, but they have to bring be a, a man. man. Go and bring a man, otherwise we can't give you this apartment. She was yeah. searching for apartment for months, and they kept telling her the same thing. And it's not like oh she was she was giving off any certain vibe. No, she's not even that. Do you person. understand? And of which I feel like it doesn't even matter. Like what's your business? It's Actually. either you want to do a business and give out the place or not. 
please, if you're a landlord and you're listening right now, help please us stop understand. <laughs> yeah, stop they could it. Call like, and explain, you know, yeah, I wanted to could. call in and explain to explain. us like, why you actually maybe, let's understand from we'll your understand. perspective. <laughs> not even from a man's pers- pers- perspective now, from yes. a landlord's perspective, like why you ask these questions, why you feel it's necessary. You Do you think understand. that you're in some form um trying to be careful, cautious? Yeah, you know, or train this girl to live a certain lifestyle it's or like obligation. Like let's know where your head is at when you're asking these questions and your fellow landlords and um mm-hmm. hey we want to hear um if you've experienced that as well. City so FM, good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Yes, Mr. Will, I'm a landlord. Oh great. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, good to, to have you. Please talk to us. You know, you guys are messing turning the region upside down. I start with listen. Lagos State has a policy that says know your neighbor, know your land, your tenant. Okay. okay. That's one. Two. Um, when you are applying for a job, didn't they ask you your state of origin? That's, didn't that's they ask origin. You if you are married or not, they do all this to know before you can be a manager of any firm. You must be someone who is attached with enough responsibility that will not run away. That's that constitutionally. Uh, coming back home, I'm a landlord. I had issues with ladies that are not married. I gave them house. One Mrs. is Harris. I won't call her surname. Mm. When her rent is due, she will take her handbag, wear one shirt, one top, and go to her friend's house and keep up with her. I will be looking for her. When I'm going to work, she will not be at home. When I have gone to work, she will come back and stay all day. When it's night, the time I'm going to come back from work, she'll be off the house. So when I said that Abby, I was calling her, Madam, come and pay your rent. We need your rent. She refused. And she was telling me she was in Abuja. I have to take this mother to court. The court came to break her door and remove her since after one year, six months. And she was living in my house. She mm. comes at, at daytime and she doesn't live there. She hangs up with someone. Mm. So the day the court came to remove her things, she went and bring police from the or police station in Niger. Mm-hmm. I went there. They couldn't do anything. I told them that this matter was from the court. They don't stay at home. You give them house. When your rent is due, you will see them. But if it's a man, a man will not run away from his responsibility. Mm-hmm. She won't tell you that she don't have the money. You can't knock on her door. She can't keep something for you to touch it. She will say you are toasting her. And once you come up with that, she will frame you up that you are trying to rape her, you are about to do this. Mm. So, Sorry. So those are the reasons why the people are scared of giving them house. So if you give a young lady house, every day and night is not a home. I don't know the um, implicatory aspect of it is that. They did say no did you neighbor. ask this lady <laughs> about the house okay. rent? Did you ask her about her house rent? Like, call her yes, on phone I'm or stuff? I asking for my rent on mm. phone. She will tell me she's in Abuja. And my neighbors were telling me that once I've gone to work, she will come back. Mm. One faithful day, I came back home. She didn't know I there was a run. I didn't come back with my car. Mm. She came and she went inside. I now have to go and meet her. She locked herself inside. I called the police. They came. The police was begging her, open the door, don't lock yourself inside. Before she opened the door, they took calls to the police station. I served her a quick notice. After one year, six months, I had to leave. If you don't want to renew your rent, please leave my house. I gave up a, a quick notice in the pro, it, at the police station at the Even with the police, even with the quick notice, she still refused to go. Okay. The, the, the day her staff boy, I brought the plumber to come and seize her staff. After fixing the staff, she locked the door. I on her way out, I sent her a message. Madam, please lock your door. We are leaving. The plumber is done. She took it to the police station and said, I was sending her, I, I do come to her apartment at night. Until what? So, you this a book, they are not reliable. Okay. See, another okay. thing is this. <sighs> when, when someone is living in your house, mm-hmm. and you don't know when she's in and when she's out, mm-hmm. you yourself, you are, you are in trouble. If anything happens to her, okay, they will come and arrest you at the landlord. One of my tenants, who works in Zenith Bank, he took Zenith Bank money, 8.7 billion. They sell it, Zenith Bank in the quarter. They brought police to come and meet, arrest him. I told the, 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 the police and the bank manager, that they are very stupid to come and arrest me. That it was the bank ID card I saw with him that made me to give this guy a house. Mm. That this bank could employ a thief. How, what, what criteria do I as a landlord need 
to get from a single individual who has a, a, an ID card of Zemi Bank, who works in the government Nigeria Financial Institute. Mm. What more do I need to get? That was how they were begging me. They are sorry, I shouldn't talk more than that. that they, they are just asking me some questions. I said, you don't ask me silly questions. See, it's not landlord's fault at all times. Okay. These people you see, mm. they are very, they are not very friendly. Okay, some of them, you will tell them there is a network. Somebody will tell you, hey, some are using what I eat some are using AC. I don't use it. Who stops you from using it? Hmm. When the safety tank is due to move, somebody will tell you, I'm just a single guy. How many times do I use the toilet? Look at the management who lives in the upstairs. Why me there to bring money out? And you cannot talk to this guy. You talk to her, they will say you are looking for something else. They are hmm. very difficult to confront. And they are not ready to be friends, to make friends, friendly with you. I see. Okay, so your, your experiences you, are you very... Your experiences are so yeah. I was saying that your experiences are very valid, and then I'm very glad that you you were able to share um an experience from a female and then from a male tenant as well. Mm -hmm. So that it goes yes. to show that it's not a gender thing at yes. the end of the day, right? It's not only ladies that do, but majorly those ladies that are not uh, married mm. that are not with a man. Even in a company, if you are not a married man as a man, they hardly give you assign much responsibility of the company to you because you might run away. These ladies, they don't sleep hard at night. The person who takes the house in your apartment, anything happens to her out there, and there's nobody in the house, after one week, two weeks, the police come and harass me, you as a landlord, you are this woman, is your tenant, mm. house, or when they still come to the house, when they still leave the house, you don't know. So you, and landlord, the thing is, you know, why, mm. why, why, why are you going deep into my affairs? Mm. Matter where you they go at this time, kind, time of the night, you say, why are you looking into my affairs? If anything happens to you out there, I don't know your parents. But would you give Nobody the same? There's nobody in this house. So would you do the same? Would you give man? the same energy to a to a guy tenant? Come again? Would you give the same energy to a guy tenant? Like if you see him always going out, would you I care guess. to ask but like I'm why he's always going out? The, the, the guys, if the, if, the, if the guy wants to go out, he will definitely come back. The highest thing he will bring the girl home. No, whether he comes back or not. So I think it's more like you you feel more responsibility towards the lady, yes. right? The, the ladies, the ladies are the some of you just okay. You live in my house. You will now you you take your key, lock your door, you move, and nobody know where you are. And after one week, you come back, nobody know, and you be living in that house, nobody know your movement. A guy will definitely have a friend in the house. Oh, guy, we are going to club. We are going to do this. They are more reliable. They go mm. up to you. But the ladies, they feel too, too, too conservative, not to tell you whatever. If anything happens to them, you will be the first principal, the principal of suspect as a landlord. And the legal state has one other land, know who is with you. Try to understand them and know what they do. If you go out and they didn't come back, who will they ask? I told my, I have okay. houses, not one. Mm. I told my tenants, be friendly with your neighbors because they are your parents, they are your sister, they are your siblings. Mm. They need to have me to, they are the first people to answer questions about you. Mm. I am far away from you guys. Mm. So let nobody, don't keep money with anybody. One local government staff, he died in his room. Mm. After four days, before he was at, before they discovered that this man died in his room. Why? He don't have a friend. He don't talk to anybody. Mm. When you come, you open your door, you enter. Nobody knows when you are in, nobody knows when you are out. Oh, this man died, it was when he was smelling that they now have to discover that who oh, is dead. The landlord was sick for. You guys will be saying, Lalo, this is scary, nothing can do money, Lalo, this is. Who is not looking into this matter? Mm. And stop blaming Lalo in all circumstances. Let them, if you want to rent house, be ready to cooperate. Be ready, be, be at least cooperate with the people that are living with you. If you don't want to cooperate with the landlord, landlord asking you where you come from. Who is the mother? Who is the parent? He's just trying to know that if, should in case you are sick. Mm. I wrote somebody who had an accident at Mayfair to hospital. I took him to Safeway. There is better. I took her to Budo. There is better. I that this one was having an accident to club. I have to take her to a condo around 1 a.m. That's when I'm moving here and there. They were asking me, who is she? Where is she from? I don't know anything about her. So the, the problem became my was a condo that admitted her. After like three, four months, she came and she was okay with her brother to come and take me. I took a risk. They could have gone against me, if not for God's sake. So when you are dealing with people, if they ask you questions about you, 
if there's nothing you are if you don't have anything to hide open up and let them know who you are let them know where you are going to if you go at night like all these boys they call you will they kill you there who would they ask how would they trace you your parents are not here nobody knows where you are from and you are saying no one's are wicked no one's are asking you questions my dear if you are not ready to take care of and destroy your identity don't go there like in my house now i have learned <coughs> i don't give although i have about three of them who are single mm -hmm. they work in the um, property management mm -hmm. they are very reliable they go out and they come back mm -hmm. every day and night but those ones that do that don't come back at night i don't know where Next you are questions. the case sometimes mm -hmm. you leave the case open we don't they stole my generator twice because of people who, who just, they don't move around they know they like mm -hmm. and they are very careful um, um, they're not careful if you call her what where are you going to you say you are but then i don't want to talk more Thank you so much for calling. We appreciate you. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> it was almost like we had him here, but no. <laughs> I, I think fair point everything he yeah, said from true. but then again, it would not it's not like for every landlord that does this, it's not like this is not their intent, all of them. Some of them mm -hmm. have some of them have nasty behaviors when it comes to, you know, Renting, renting apart uh, renting out apartments to women do you get what i'm saying yeah. like he has his you know he's brought the legal state he's he's talked about how you know the the guys are more reliable yeah, and security reasons. yeah security of which i understand mm. where he's coming from mm -hmm. but i beg to differ because mm. we understand that you're trying to be cautious mm. asking where she's from and all of that that's mm -hmm. fine yeah. that's mm -hmm. standard mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but not where are you going i'm dressing up i'm leaving my house and my landlord comes out to ask me where am i going where are you going mm. that's intrusive actually that's <laughs> yes. borderline that's yes. intrusive because yes. if i was a man would you ask me so what's the problem exactly mm. it's understandable that you want to know who is staying in your apartment yeah. who your neighbors are you need to understand that is fine but there are some questions that are you. out of line but mm -hmm. exactly certain things become out of line it's mm. no longer trying to be careful yeah, of, or, or what not. it's just being being intrusive because you can't you can't track down you can't expect her you know her father mm. so you can't expect her to give you a daily report of where she's going where she's coming from she could be friendly but to a limit right he kept mentioning mm -hmm. how you know women yes, you know, come back it, at yeah, night. it was like that it was a damn thing like it was a general gender thing so like it applies to all females and that's yes. where i have a problem Actually. because at the end of the day we understand that not everybody is perfect both mm. and it goes both ways to so both mm -hmm. genders both male and female so you can't say that oh when it comes to females um uh, them they are that way that's just how they are they're, they're not friendly, friendly. <laughs> they're not you know Actually. and it's not a thing of friendly or not she's yes. being careful too in her head she has her reasons for doing these things mm -hmm. but the thing is he too has to tr thread with caution because in as much as he doesn't want to seem like oh he doesn't want to be giving like certain allegations of things that he's not actually doing yeah. but he should be careful too you don't just assume that because you know you're going to be responsible for her you're her t you're her landlord and she's your tenant try to keep it that way don't try to go further by knowing her daily activities and all of that yes. it's really not necessary it's none of your business if something happened these things happen sometimes like life happens and some people die some people get involved in things that they shouldn't but mm -hmm. you can't stop it the truth is you can't stop it yes mm -hmm. and can't. giving your apartment to a man is not is not at least all yeah. to men only yes. I do not agree with the saying that oh he has to be married uh, or she has to be married because mm. that way you have more responsibilities mm -hmm. and you can't run away. Mm -hmm. Anybody can run can away. Run. I mean, married people yes. should run away and just leave their families and vanish. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's not madness not could be happening in the house. <laughs> in, 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 yeah. in, yeah. in, yeah. You in don't understand. Mar uh, yeah, like that, 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 that married couple that has yes. rented an apartment with you. Madness could be happening there, and exactly. you would just be like, oh no, they are married. They can sort this out. But yeah. guess what? That's not the case. Husband you kill wife. Wife you kill husband. And these things happen all the time. Exactly. No. It makes, it makes complete sense at the end of the day and yeah. i think another angle he was coming from was that let's let's not even lie some of us have attitude to be very females. honest yes not well, just females men everybody too. That's most thing. of us we have thing. more than guys we will, i will not well. even lie about that we have <laughs> more than guys and yes it might be coming from a place of i can protect yes, myself i'm trying to very, show this guy yes, that yes. I, I i am not that woman that he's going to treat like treat me like you want to treat yes. a man and you know you're trying to prove it but that guy the landlord is actually coming from a place of care like yeah. he's I seeing like, you I, as a I, daughter I, yeah. he's seeing you as someone he would love I mean, to like you know take care of protect mm -hmm. and what i yes. feel like the energy get, you come with would mm -hmm. be would make me receptive or not yeah, if well, you come with but that's ah, the thing and again, you should not be going out by this time of the night though this is, i'm not in my father's no, house no 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 obviously wait, not so do you know, say, do you know can, what can i do mm. like can i say all right so can i say something okay so as a female already that's coming to an apartment 
different. You're single. You mm -hmm. know they already have their own perception mm -hmm. about you. Mm -hmm. So some ladies, I feel like they can be all guarded and defensive. Mm -hmm. They just build it like so they don't. That's what I'm saying. So that exactly. Crosses that line. Do you understand? Like exactly. you already have your. You already have whatever you think about me. Don't step on my. So they they just put that character on. So when just the landlord sees that he's already he to yes. his office so and he's like, think like she's rude or she's understand. not trying to be friendly. But sometimes as females, honestly, if you. If you give too much chance, mm -hmm. people yeah, disrespect you. Definitely. And so sometimes that's why some females will be like, uh, it's I'm my business. Guarded. You know, you don't have to be in my in my business. You don't have yeah. to know so much about me. Ex only if I want you to. So mm. yeah. yeah, so you need to also understand why a female. And she has be no like obligation that. to be friendly. Like Actually, it's her she personality. A man she can come have in an and go friendly. out whenever he wants. And for what you said, like weeks or days out of my apartment right no definitely yeah. you abide by the rules that mm. they've placed in your apartment and you know when, you know my parents you know what i do to who yes. you bring into your house how many people you bring in and stuff like definitely. that definitely I, I, I thought at one time i thought it was going to be a problem because i was going to travel and then i was like telling my landlord that someone's going to come scratch at my place mm -hmm. for a while mm -hmm. you know while i'm away and the way he answered, I was shook because I, I thought he's going to make it a big deal that no, yeah, I can't take somebody sorry, that, you know, that I don't know. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm like, okay. No, but I, yeah, kudos to and my he landlord. Was cool about it. Yes, he was cool about as it. But honestly, all this is what eh? saying, eh? as a landlord, when eh? I become one, eh? I don't think I want to stay with my tenant. Uh, because you know, some things are, you know, the way we are saying it's so sweet like this. Let <laughs> 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 see, see, yeah. There are times that tenants mm. can actually be really annoying. Let's be honest. Even no. we, even we that yes. we pay ourselves. No, actually, you know now to you're trying honest, to make, yeah. you're trying to get this person to pay. Um, something will spoil in the in the compound. You'll be begging. Do you understand what? Mm -hmm. it, like if you're now the landlord and you're seeing, seeing all those things happening, some people will tell you that they cannot stay where the landlord is not living because they know that once the landlord is there, there's more like order. There's yeah. order. You know the the rules. There are rules. No, yeah, so, word. Okay, so yeah. coming well, from the perspective want to of, with of my people tenants, that honestly. have, you know, tenants like my family has mm. tenants, so um, they are completely on a different side. Yeah, there's the a new like, thing they do now. Mm. Like it's our, lovely. Our it's, houses are completely uh, apart, mm. and we try as much as possible not to have direct contact or meetings or Trust me, interactions with them. We have like an agent that's like a middleman. So anything you people need, you, you just call the yeah. agent. Don't come to us because my neighbors doesn't mean that you come to us for anything because oh, there's no water. Come and look. There's no go call the agent. So, because we don't want to have issues with you, we understand that a lot of the time people have a certain notion about landlords mm -hmm. too, right? Mm -hmm. And we don't want to fit into that stereotype. We want you to mind your business and want to mind ours. We don't want to bug you for anything. Like yeah, we don't, we don't rent, call them we? for any. <laughs> just pay your rent. Or time. Just pay your rent. That's all. Just pay <laughs> pretty your much. <laughs> when something spoils in the compound, for what happens then? They, they'll call the agent. agents. Uh, no, but what if something... you, as the as the landlady landlord, notices it? Like you notice it. We don't. We don't put. Don't uh, we don't that. chook our eyes into things like that. Uh, Nice. Sometimes my yeah, mom, my mom likes to go <laughs> there for long. one reason mm. or the other. Maybe they wanted. I don't even know. Like okay, like maybe uh, for example, one time I moved out and mm. they had to go and check the apartment mm -hmm. for someone else to come in, and then she noticed something on that side of mm. the compound, and you know she was like, ah, this place is like this, like this, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know what? Like it's really you don't have to talk about it. I was mm. telling her like she should just keep a blind eye to it. She You're not talk about there. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, she, she's not staying there. All so right, like, ladies. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, it. let's take a quick breather. When we return, so will girl. Don't go nowhere. Alrighty, we're back. But I mean, just to wrap things up, you know, I at the end of the day, I hope what we can take from this is the fact that um we, we want a better approach when it comes to landlords renting us apartment and by us I mean us ladies uh, a better approach maybe you should do some explaining when you as to why you're asking mm -hmm. um, certain questions that you're asking especially the ones that you know deep down in your heart you would not ask a man yes let us understand why it is you're asking us that and um, ladies uh, maybe when going for uh apartment sighting or you know getting to rent an apartment try not to have all your guard up like you know <laughs> someone is coming for you and your life like take it easy because from the conversation we've had um it's it's actually clear to see that these people just care about us it's not like they want to 
poke or you know <laughs> tell us how to live our lives and whatnot <laughs> no i mean yeah, i'm just saying being. like at, at the end of the day <laughs> like, no. speaking for the most um but the few ones that you know need to be called out you should call them out mm-hmm. but yeah maybe there'll be a part two of this conversation it's just that we're out of time now mm-hmm. ladies how do we find and follow you on social media <clears throat> okay so you can follow, find and follow me at at the fiona davis on instagram mm-hmm. yeah Okay, and you can find me on Instagram mm-hmm. at talk with J underscore. All right, then the super drive time show with Casey and myself continues in a jiffy. Do not go anywhere. <laughs>